The first one comes from Lynn, who says, as a single divorced father, I was always there for my daughter. I never missed a visitation or picking her up from school, never missed a child support payment, and never missed a birthday or Christmas. We were always together when she was little. I was always there for her, but now that she's grown, I never hear from her. She rarely returns my phone calls or texts and rarely visits. I never get a phone call, card, or visit on Father's Day. I'm just simply ignored. What should I do? What's your advice on handling this? Well, that girl is just absolutely awful. I mean, you know, the Bible says we're supposed to honor our mother and father, and you have gone beyond, uh, above and beyond the call to look after that daughter. And I don't understand, because daughters usually uh, have an affinity for their fathers, and I don't understand what's wrong with her. But uh, what should you do? I think you need to get on with your life. I know there's a great hole in your heart and you're, you're grieving, but you need to give it to the Lord and uh, lose yourself in helping people. That's, you like to help people, and I recommend that you do that. And just pray that somehow that girl, I don't understand. Terry, can you understand what, what a daughter would, you know, turn on her father that way? Well, it, yeah, I, I don't understand, and I don't understand whether she's whether in her mind she's really turning on him, or she just has moved on with her own life and gotten well, caught you, up and ignored you, him. You, I, you, I mean, for heaven's sakes, you, your mother and father, <clears throat> you, you don't move on with your life. I mean, you know, I mean well, it's he, your mother and father. It, it's true, and you know I'm hearing what the dad is saying, but the girl must have some story of her own. Well, it know? must be maybe her mother's gotten to her and turned her against her father, which is quite possible. I don't know, yeah. but all I can say, you, the, the question is, what do I do? And what you do is turn it over to the Lord and get on with your life. There's nothing else you can do. All right.